talked about the sip, right? And I was on a hunt for loose leaf tea around this area, and I found you sips and good tea. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. So now, you have a lot of different things in front of us. It smells so good. I wish they could smell it at home. Yeah. But can you tell me why you decided to do loose leaf tea instead of anything else? Yeah. So with loose leaf tea, you tend to find a tea that's much more flavorful. So when the pandemic occurred, I had a bunch of tea like in my cupboard. And I started playing around with the bag teas, and I was like, ooh, this is just not flavorful enough. So I went to the grocery store and I bought loose leaf and just started playing around with the blends and I came up with something that was pretty special. So I was like, hey, this may be a business. And so that kind of like jump started everything. And the one we have right here is an apple and elderberry blend. So I heard you were sick a couple weeks ago. So <laughs> I wanted to bring a couple teas that uh, would help you like continue to get better or just anyone um, improve their illness and just, you know, impact their immunity system. So thinking about caffeine, because so many people try and drink coffee, why is tea the better alternative for you? Well, for me, tea just gives you this sense of calm. And also, tea is one of those things that's really about community, right? When you think about tea, you think about sharing that with a cup um, and with a person that you know. So for me, it's, it's tea instead of coffee. Now, I do drink coffee. I'm mm -hmm. not going to say I don't. But to start my day and to end my day, it always starts with a cup of tea. All right, so now when I'm at home and I buy some Sipsy good tea, do I know what I'm doing or do you give <laughs> us some instructions on how to make this work? Yeah, well, when you buy a bag of Sipsy, then um, the instructions come on the bag. But also, it's really simple. Like, think of when you're doing loose leaf, the same as how you would do, like, tea that's in a tea bag. You don't really need a, a lot. So I would say if you have a tea bag that's this size, you'll want to use maybe about a third of it. If you're measuring from home, you only need, like, a um, tablespoon or teaspoon size. And with, the good thing about loose leaf is that you can adjust it to your taste, right? So if you like a more bold taste, just use more tea. And so, like, with this one, this is um, at Chenea. And I'm putting just a little scoop in here. And you can start at that in too. Okay. So that's What's rose this? petals. I chose that one because rose petal has a lot of vitamin C in it. Okay. And you can put a scoop, apple elderberry, and antonella. Both of these are really good for when mixed together, are really good for your immune system. Ooh, okay. So now, are there other teas that you have? Like, do you do peppermint? Is that, because you know, a lot of people always try and go yeah, with peppermint to make yeah. themselves feel better. So, a time to tea is a green tea, and it's blended with peppermint leaves and pieces of lemon and lime. Mmm. Yep. And you would do that the same way. All right. See, I'm over here being nervous because I don't want to <laughs> no, mess don't up be the nervous. tea. <laughs> you won't mess it up. And, and like I said, it's really to your liking. However, um, whatever amount that you want to use, just put it in there. And then in the in the kettle there is hot water, and you can steep um, because this is herbal tea, and it's not actually tea from the tea plant. You can get away with steeping it and just like forgetting it. But I suggest starting with maybe three to five minutes. And like I said, if you forget it, it's okay because it's not going to give you that bitter taste that you'll get if you were steeping like a black tea if you steep it too long. So now, also sugar. Can you talk to us about how much sugar we should actually be putting in these teas? Because <laughs> well, I go crazy sometimes. You go crazy with sugar? Well, I will say sugar is the same thing. It's to your liking. For me, I typically like my hot tea with no sugar. If I'm doing my sweet teas, though, I typically add just a couple of tablespoons full. So I'm probably like in the middle ground with adding sugar to um, for my taste buds. Okay. And also thinking about just how people can get in contact with you to find tea and figure out what they like because a lot of times folks want to try new things but you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well you can find me at a lot of pop-ups across the state. Um, not only just in Jackson and I recently just had a tea blending um, workshop where people came and I had about 20 different herbs and different teas out and they got a chance to like you know try different teas, see what blends well with others, and that was a great experience for them, especially for someone that has no idea like what um, what different herbs taste like. They got a chance to mix it and play with it, and I'll probably have another one of those in this upcoming spring. All right, so yeah. we can keep up with you and find out more information about it. I want to just put my tea right there because it, it looks and smells so good. <laughs>